The next entity that we are going to need for this basic scenario is tariff. What is tariff? Tariff is a kind of a price list that includes all destinations with prices that a customer can call in a system. It's similar to a price list at a store where you have the list of all purchasable goods and the prices for them. Okay, what parameters can be set for our tariff? Tariff has a name and of course currency. And our practical example, we are going to use US dollars, but potentially other currencies are also possible. Tariff is linked to a service. For example, the service could be voice calls, SMS messaging, or data. Of course, data tariffs will be rather different from voice call tariffs, okay? A tariff can be used to, to charge customers how much we charge um, our customer for a particular service, okay? And we also can use tariffs to calculate how much we owe the carriers, the carriers or the vendors. For example, if our customer calls Spain and we send our customer's calls to uh, the Spanish operator Movistar, Movistar charges us for the call according to the vendor tariff. It is very important to have our vendor tariff configured correctly. This will allow us to calculate our revenue without mistakes. Okay. If we have partners who resell our services, we can define a partner or a reseller tariff and build them according to this tariff. Also, we can set default rate attributes. It means that we're, when we're going to add rates to this tariff, some of the attributes will be set by default and we are not going to have to enter them manually again and again when entering a new rate. We are going to talk about rates very soon, but just a very quick heads up. If tariff is our price list, rates are our individual prices. Okay? A couple of practical aspects. If you ask me, what happens if a customer is charged three cents a minute for calls to the US? But sometimes there is a need to introduce modification to those prices, maybe make them cheaper or even more expensive. Can we do it using tariffs? Yes, indeed, different tariffs can be applied to the same customer depending on the conditions or the circumstances. Okay, I have already mentioned uh, when we were talking about destinations that there can be thousands or even hundreds thousands of them in the system. So it makes sense to have a possibility to automatically upload our price list from a CSV or XLS file, okay? So we can upload our rates to a tariff, okay? If we need to access our tariffs in the database, they're stored in the table with the same name, tariffs. This is all for our theoretical explanation part and now let's go to our web interface how do we find tariffs we find tariffs in service catalog tariffs directly we are now on our search panel let's go to create panel we are going to call our tariff easy call demo our currency is going to be us dollars we are going to apply this tariff to voice calls. We can just type it in. And our tariff is going to be applied to charge our customers. Manage by, we are going to leave the default option administrator only. Other options may be used when resellers are involved. Okay, now let's click save. Our tariff has been saved. Now all we need to do is add rates for the specific destinations that we have in our practical task. We're going to do this in our next video.